Johnny, hello. It's great to see you again for Thank Pirates you. of the Caribbean. Uh, do you agree it's the kind of film that everybody enjoys because it does appeal to every genre, you know, women, kids, cartoons, guys, everything? I think everything. it's got everything. I think it's got it all, you know. It's got humor, it's got uh, inside jokes, it's got action, it's got, uh, you know, the beautiful Kira Knightley, the beautiful Orlando Bloom, you got Jeffrey Rush, you got all kinds of stuff in there. Yeah, no, it's quite yeah. cool. Um, I like the references to Pepe Le Pew for your character, you know, the yeah. cartoon character and yeah. all that things. You know, do you think, you know, it allows your imagination to go, you know, over the top wherever you really want this kind of film? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I was, I was greatly inspired by, by actually a lot of films that my daughter showed me, you know, the mm -hmm. films I've been watching with my, with my little girl, uh, a lot of these Disney sort of films, these magical films, you know, and in these films, anything is possible, and they have great... There's great room for characterization. I mean, these characters are really, really rich, wonderful, funny little characters. And uh, um, so, yeah, I mean, that was very, very helpful in terms of, you know, making the choices for, for Captain Jack. No, but definitely also, you know, being in the fantasy, obviously, you know, being in the Caribbean, how does that put you in tune for the fantasy and, you know, to forget a bit of the, you know, environment and get into it completely? Oh, we were there, man. We were in, we were in there completely. And especially mm. when you're doing you know, sort of uh, large kind of action scenes, battle scenes, or, um, or sword fighting, you know, where it's, everything is choreographed down to the absolute second. Um, and if someone deviates even a little bit from the routine, uh, man, you could lose an eye, a finger, an ear, you never know. So um, we were in there. You had no choice but to be in there and completely focused. Well, it's also the same for talent. You know, you did mention the wonderful cast that was in the film. It does, you know, take the wonderful cast to make the good characters to make the film. Otherwise, it's easy to slip off and not succeed, well, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think that. I think it was, uh, I mean, amazing casting. All, you know, the people in, in this film, especially all the way down the line. You know, from uh, Kira Orlando, Jeffrey, uh, Mackenzie Crook, uh, Jonathan Price, Angus Barnett. You know straight across the board. Does it put a smile on your face that now you're doing movies not only for you alone, but for your daughter and your family? Yeah, it kind of makes you feel good. But I actually think I started, I started making choices for my kids, I think, way before they were born, you know. Because mm. um, I remember when I was on the television series, I, I, I couldn't stand being, you know, on doing the sort of assembly line thing. And, and I swore, like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to do the things that that I can be proud of, you know, someday, and and the things that my kids can be proud of, and uh, so I started out with yeah, crybaby, scissor hands, and all that. And yeah, that's so fun, so yeah. much fun. <laughs> How does that translate with them? You know, when you show them those movies, you know, you see them differently. You know, you see the look on their face. And well, it's funny because I I've never watched um, I've never watched any of my movies with my with my daughter or anything, and my boy's too little yet. He's only one, but. Uh, when my daughter sees the, she's got a couple of the DVDs, you know, like Scissorhands and Benny and June or something, and when she's, she shows them to people, and she'll say, that's my dad, you know. And she just shows the, the DVD thing. Um, it's funny because she, I don't think to her it's, she's not really clear that Papa's an actor, you know. In fact, she thinks I'm a pirate, you know. She told, someone asked her what her dad did, and she said, oh, he's a pirate, you know. I was really proud of that. Yeah, exactly. That's the most amazing thing yeah. she can say. How do you feel about living here? Do you feel it, you know, gives you the opportunity to see, you know, cinema genres from all over the world? Do you feel it does make it diverse? Is it a real impression that living in Europe, you know, exposes you to more genres? Oh, but in every sense. I mm. mean, not even just not cinema alone. You know, which I, I, I myself, I don't, I'm not a big. I don't know. I don't watch a whole lot of movies. You know, mm. I watch old films. I like older films, but. Uh, Oh, literature, culture, arts, um, it's all available here, it's all here, it's all, it was all done here, you know, it all comes from here, the inspiration comes from here, so, uh, uh, no, it's a great pleasure, I mean, I feel blessed to, uh, um, to be able to uh, spend as much time over here as I do, and to have the opportunity to raise kids yeah, that's cool. in, uh, in such an amazing place, an amazing country. Talking about blessing, you know, you are the kind of actor whose talent is recognized for eclectic reasons. So you are given eclectic roles. It doesn't happen to all the actors. When did you feel that, you know, started? When was it? When did it click? Uh, well, I think early, uh, early on, you know, uh, 
when um, when I was doing the TV series and a lot of scripts started coming in to me, you know, and it, there were scripts that seemed, you know, it's like stuff you'd seen already and people had already done that role a million times. And I thought, no, no, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. And then Crybaby came around with John Waters. Great film. And that was like, you know, for me, I thought, aha, this is, this is how I'll do it, you know. This is going to help. And I was able to do Crybaby, then Scissor Hands, and then after Scissor Hands, Arizona Dream. And it was right around there that people started going, wait a minute, you're, uh, you're doing something wrong, man, you know. You're not doing the same role you gotta, all the time. You've got to do, you know, you've got to go, <laughs> You gotta go do the romantic thing. You gotta go, you know. You gotta do this and that. You know. Um, and uh, for me, it seemed totally natural and totally normal. But uh, uh, it made a very difficult ride for my agent. Certainly, it's it's been a it's been a rough road for her. <laughs> <laughs> but do you feel that living here, the position you're in today, makes Hollywood a bit more bearable? Yeah, I mean, when you when you finally get some perspective on life which is really like, you know, when your kids come into your life, when your girl and your kids come into your life and give you life and you get some perspective on stuff, um, almost anything's bearable, you know. Uh, I don't take it as seriously as I used to. I'm just in terms of, I don't take it as personally as I used to, you know. They can write what they want, they can say what they want, they can call me what they want, they can label me, I don't care doesn't matter. No, no, absolutely. I just do my work and hang out with my kids and play Barbie and have fun. And spend a good day. <laughs> yeah.